Hey folks, welcome to the Lightroom Blog channel. I'm Sean McCormick and it's Tuesday, so that makes this Lightroom Tuesday. Today we're going to talk a little bit about tidying up keyboards. Hey folks, in the middle of my tea remembering I have to do a video and thinking what am I going to do it on. I had a request during the week for somebody talking about tidying up keyboards, so I'm just going to do a very, very short video on that. So here I have a lovely shot that I did in London. I actually shot this on a workshop with Doug Chinnery. Um, I didn't really go along to do the workshop. Uh, I went along because it was a great price to get in. I'd been driven around a taxi by London and to have Doug there as well to chat to. So uh, I still did learn stuff from Doug. Doug has some fantastic locations. He does that London night workshop all the time. I highly recommend it. Don't get paid to say this. Absolutely work going on it. Um, so... In this case, I want to talk about keywords as London. So I'm just uh, going to come out here to the loop view for a second. And I've already searched for this, but I'll just show you how to do the search. So I'm searching for keywords called London. It'll help if I spell it correctly, of course. And I see that I have two different keywords that say London. So how can we just have one keyword that says London? Well, it's pretty straightforward. So I select here and I click the arrow. And then the arrow will go to those words, those keywords specifically. So I'm going to click G for grid. So we see we have these images here, 127. And we can also see the two keywords beside each other here in the filter bar. So if I do Command A to select all, I can then drag all of these keywords onto the other version of the keyword. So that's gone up to 1099. Now it may be that they're shared keywords. So two London keywords get shared sometimes. So now what I can do is I can come in here and then I just go delete keyword. So this will, this will be used, just telling us that it is used on 127 photos and they will be removed from those photos. So I click them and that keyword will go. And then we're left to this London keyword with 1099 images instead. Okay, so it says no photos match the filter. That's because it's still on the old keyword. So we click this again. It will now bring us to the new version of the keyword. So that is how you do it. It's just a simple matter of moving stuff from one keyword to the other and then deleting the old keyword. Now, you may have them in hierarchies and things like that. It doesn't matter. They will go into that hierarchy if you're moving them into the hierarchy or out of the hierarchy if you're going the other way around. So that is how you get rid of duplicate keywords. Do a little bit of keyword tidying. Folks, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and it was useful to you. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And do share it with your friends if you liked it as well or share it on social media or Facebook groups and things like that, that you, where you think it's appropriate. Thank you for taking the time to watch this. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell if you haven't already hit the notification bell to get notified so that you get a little notification going bing new video online so remember now lightroom stuff on tuesday and photo stuff on fridays thanks for watching this and i will see you in the next one